Hey, second grade, this is Mrs. D again. Just going to play the story this time without me interrupting. So you can reread it a couple of times. Thanks for listening with me today. Genre, expository text, astronaut handbook by Megan McCarthy. Welcome to astronaut school. Soon you will be boarding a space shuttle and blasting into outer space. All different kinds of people have become astronauts. There have been teachers, painters, and even deep sea divers. You can be an astronaut too. First you need to decide what kind of astronaut you will be. There are astronauts who fly the space shuttles. Astronauts who conduct scientific experiments, such as growing plants. And astronauts who repair satellites. Becoming an astronaut takes a lot of preparation. It's important to study hard in school. Studying isn't always easy, but stick with it. You will have to pass some tough fitness tests to become an astronaut, so suit up and start swimming. One test is to swim in your flight suit and sneakers. It's also important to be a team player. While in space, you'll be eating, sleeping, and working in very tight quarters with many other people. So be nice to your neighbor and no fighting. Now that you can work well with others, it's time for survival training. This training will help toughen you up and prepare you to live in harsh conditions. After you're both mentally and physically prepared, it's time for the real work to begin. Practice makes perfect. Those of you who have decided to become engineers will practice working with machines, much like the ones you'll use in space. Those of you who want to be a pilot of the space shuttle will need to learn how to fly. You've done the hard stuff, and now it's time to have some fun. A special plane nicknamed the Vomit Comet will take you high in the sky and then zoom back down. As a result, you'll be able to float. It might upset your stomach, but you'll get the hang of it. You'll also need to pick the food you'd like to eat while in space. It's important to have a balanced diet to stay strong during your trip. You can even have dessert, such as freeze-dried ice cream. This is what a space toilet looks like. Light. Instructions. Dry wipes. Thigh restraint. Thigh restraint. Vacuum for solids. Foothold. Foothold. Hose for liquids. And here's what your spacesuit will look like. TV camera. Portable life support system backpack, or PLSS, contains oxygen, battery, and water supply. Headlamp. Helmet and visor. Flexible metal bearings, allowing arms to rotate. Hard upper torso, or hut, made from fiberglass and steel. Display and control module. Spacesuit weighs 280 pounds on Earth. Glove. Lower torso assembly, or LTA, made from soft insulation, rubber. Boot. Spacesuit has 12 layers. The seven inside layers protect astronauts from extreme temperatures. You'll wear this suit while working outside the space shuttle. It's white to reflect the rays of the sun. It will be fitted to your exact measurements. Over 100 measurements will be taken of your hand alone. Finally, it's time to blast off. Put on your orange flight suit, worn for takeoffs and landings, and get ready to board the space shuttle. You will have to sit for as long as three hours before liftoff. Get ready for the ride of your life. Three, two, one, blast off. It's best to like small spaces. Work hard and enjoy your time in space. Here's the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.